often overlooked, maybe even taken for granted. But you cannot underestimate the importance of the torque rod's role. They take on a lot of responsibility in a harsh environment. Different shapes means different ways to connect truck frames to suspension systems. We've got your straddle, your taper, your hollow sleeve. Of course, the other side could be different. So now we've got your straddle straddle, straddle taper, straddle hollow. Well, you get the point. Throw in adjustable and specialty rods, and the family of torque rods is a big one. And how are they positioned on the truck? If they run parallel with the truck's frame, they are longitudinal. As you can see, these torque rods play a critical role in the truck's performance. Not to be outdone, transverse rods do all kinds of important things. But remember this basic, transverse rods are perpendicular to the frame. Yep, that's 90 degrees. And lastly, V-rods. These multitaskers do the job of both the transverse and the longitudinal rods. This multifunction appeal is evident as V-rods on newer suspension systems are definitely becoming more common. Here's a hard truth. Torque rods wear out. Just like a battery or a tire, it's important to consider torque rods a wear item. One research project estimated trucks replaced a torque rod every 2.3 years. We feel this number is low because our empirical data confirms not all worn torque rods are replaced, not even close. HRL field reps continually find examples which are not in for chassis service showing obvious signs of torque rod wear. Strong visual clues that indicated a need for replacement of at least one torque rod. When torque rods maintain proper suspension alignment, it causes many good things to happen. And reducing tire wear could just help you avoid potentially substantial CSA points violations. Do the math and you can see that a bad tire caused by a bad suspension part could result in a 15 point violation. It's estimated that 70% of all steer tire wear issues are caused by problems that originate in the drive axles because of misaligned suspension components. While torque rod failures are a prime suspect with misaligned drive axles, other suspension components can affect tire wear such as bad springs, end beam bushings, and bolster springs. Several other components of the steer axle can cause wear. According to Bridgestone Tire, commercial tire wear on steer axles may actually be coming from the drive or trailer axles. In fact, many alignment experts rank drive axles as causing the most trouble, followed by trailer axles with steer axles last. How big of a problem can just a slight misalignment be? Hunter Engineering Company determined that just one-tenth of an inch of tandem axle misalignment over 125,000 miles causes wear equal to dragging the steer tires sideways for 100 miles. To overcome this rolling resistance, the truck has to work harder. That means increased horsepower and decreased fuel mileage. Conversely, properly maintained torque rods keep suspensions aligned, which reduces drag, saves fuel, and money. And finally, torque rods reduce driveline component wear by maintaining proper driveline angles. This relieves undue stress, which means increased life on U-joints and related components. We now know the importance of torque rods. This means regular inspection for torque rod failure is critical to safety and performance. And what is regular inspection? Under normal conditions, over-the-road trucks should have torque rods inspected for wear every 50,000 miles or every six months. For heavy-duty vocational applications, torque rod inspections should be done every 90 days to prevent premature suspension component failure. And trailers that run empty should also have torque rod inspections every 90 days as bouncing can cause premature failure as well. But how do we identify a bad torque rod? Learn how to identify visual clues of torque rod problems and discover solutions from Atro in part two of the torque rod.